McDonald's Babe Happy Meal. When you can take the bluest part of this complete breakfast. We like them. Steve Thomas. Florida Light Show, only on YouTube. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another GTI Wednesday. Doing something that needed to be done a couple weeks ago, but I'm just now getting around to it. So you'll have seen a couple weeks ago, we put the H&R lowering springs on the GTI. And these are the sport springs. I think I specified that. Um, it's about a 1.3 inch drop and settled in for the last couple weeks. And it is sitting very nicely, except for this absolute trash right here. That is this like super gap in the fitment on the wheel. And obviously we're still running the um, OEM Austin wheels, which I really like and I'm gonna keep for a little while, for a while actually, I'm not too concerned about changing them. Um, I love the way these wheels look. So I'm just gonna keep them. And if I do change them, I think I might stick with the stock VW wheels. I really love the Pretorias that come on the Golf R. So if I can find a set of those, that'd be really cool too. Keep that OEM plus look while still making it look a little different. And if I'm hearing correctly, we looking at getting a pretty nice sized storm. Um, so I'm glad we're in the garage. Which, uh, which is nice, so we can stay a little dry. For some reason, I've been just like absolutely obsessed with weather lately, I don't know why, ever since like the hurricanes were, like the two hurricanes were coming and, and then we got, Laura came and it didn't hit us at all. This isn't even, actually it might be some residual storms that coming off of it, like from the little hook, the rotation, we might actually be getting some of these storms right now. Um, and I don't know why, I've just been like totally obsessed with the weather lately. We had like a 20 degree drop yesterday in temperature. It went from being 100 to 75 degrees. So big drop and it felt so nice out. We went and stood outside just like enjoying the weather. This morning it was like 75 degrees. It felt so nice and it's hot again today and it's gonna be hot this weekend. So I'm trying to get this done today so I don't have to do anything this weekend and I can focus on the NC Miata. But enough rambling. Big shout out to Bryce. You are an asshole, but you gave me some good advice on these wheel spacers from GarageLine. So GarageLine makes a kit for the GTI specifically, 15 millimeter spacer on the front set of wheels and a 20 millimeter on the rear to give it a flush look is what most of the companies call it. It's like a flush kit. I know ECS makes one, but Considering Garage Line was recommended to me, I decided to go with Garage Line. And it comes with your spacers, with the hub-centric ring and everything, and it also comes with hardware. I think these are extended or at least new. Um, so these will go specifically on the spacer and on the wheel. So let's get these unboxed, and then we will get the wheels off, and we can go ahead and throw these guys on. Here is the front set. Like I said, these are the 15 millimeter spacers. So those are there. And then we have the 20 millimeter spacers for the rear. So obviously a difference there of five millimeters. Um, and these are really nice quality. I'm definitely impressed with them. A um, little more expensive than I have ever thought of spending on a set of wheel spacers. But these were nice enough to where I was like, okay, it makes sense to buy them as a kit. These are made for the car and I know they're gonna work. So, got the two sets of spacers. Let's go and take the wheels off and put our new spacers on. I guess lug bolts are definitely extended. So good on them for providing the extended bolts and should thread in perfectly. So 
we can take our first wheel spacer and it fits on absolutely so perfect nice and flush um, so taking the wheel I'm trying to think of the best way to do this probably to just line it up as best as possible and uh, just Maybe put the spacer on the wheel, actually. So this looks way, 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 way better than without the spacers. Tell me what you guys think, but the difference is really dramatic. I mean, the wheel is still gonna tuck in nicely under bumps when it cambers in, but otherwise the rear is the most dramatic. And the fronts look really good too. Definitely like the way that looks should do the same. I don't think I'm gonna have any clearance issues, especially with just the sport springs. Should be all good, but look at that. Here it is from the front. Looks good all the way back. And then just so you guys can see, here's what the other side looks like. Just way more sunken in and looks fine, but definitely needed the spacers. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and throw on the other side and then I might take the car out so you can do like a better outside shot. But since it is raining, um, I'm not totally stoked on doing that since the car is clean at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw the other side on and then we'll see what happens after this. All right, rain's starting to come down pretty good so I'm not gonna take the car out. But passenger side is also done. Looks great. I am super duper satisfied with how this turned out. Now that the car's lowered and has the wheel spacers, it just looks way better. It doesn't look like a lowered stock car. It looks like a car that's been lowered now with intent, with the wheels a little bit more spaced out. It just looks more intentional, which is what I wanted. It's hard to see since it's so close to the wall, but you can see that that side's done. I do love these headlights. It's an awesome shot right there, so. Everything is done. So, garage line and wheel spacers. Uh, go check them out. See if they have a set for your car and pick some up. They're definitely worth it. They're high quality. Comes with everything you need, spacers and the uh, lug nuts, lug bolts, whatever. So I think it's definitely worth it. And I'm going to be satisfied moving forward until new wheels or whatever comes next. So we'll see. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this GTI video. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next one.